Hello, welcome back to Blowers Vintage Toys. Today's video, um, you can remember when we used to have to take a book with us if we wanted to collect vintage Star Wars figures and they were never up to date. I mean, this I, I still use this just for reference guide, but obviously not for price guide because that's 16 years old now, so the prices are really out of date. So, what I want to talk about today is the Star Wars Tracker. So as you can see this is a tracker app on the iPad, um, top you've got your portfolio, this is what this is what I have, you can put in whatever you've got, mini rigs, obviously loose, there's a wampa there, there's carded, so you can put anything you want that's in this tracker into your collection. I'll show you this first. This is all my, all my figures, my vehicles, and everything that I've got here. And what you do is you actually put in what what you paid for it, so it gives you like a total of um, what you've paid. And then when you press the valuation, you get your valuation of what it's worth at the moment. So I've paid nearly two thousand pound now. <laughs> On the uh, on what I, my vintage collection, but I've got nearly four thousand pound worth, so I've done pretty well there. Um, yeah, the valuations are not always correct. Obviously, it just depends what they're going for at this at this time. I mean, look at that, <laughs> my Palachai. That's my only card figure. Pay thirty pound for it. It's actually twenty eight pound now. So uh, that's a palatoy as well. So you know it's ups and downs, isn't it? Most of the loose figures, I, I, I obviously I know how much to pay, and um, most of them are worth a lot more than I've actually paid, basically. Ah, that's interesting because. Um, that was always coming up at £100 what I paid for it. So it's worth £250 now. Um, not that I'm going to sell it anytime soon. But uh, it's nice to know. I'll probably be able to sell it for more than that. Because I've added to it obviously. Um, but it's not complete. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell it if it's not complete anyway. And things like this. Um the vehicle, vehicle maintenance energizer. I've got it boxed, I've got the box. It's worth £35 now, which I mean for a mini rig. Those used to be between 15 and 25 But then again, your, your loose interceptor has gone down. So it's just a matter of... Um, it, it, the thing like, like the Scout Walker, it, it really fluctuates because I think the last time I looked at that it was something like £100, £120. And it's now £60. I paid, only paid 30 for it. But you can you can add onto it, you can edit. Look at that. Now, that is at Vectis, so there you go. Um, a Dagobah play set has gone for nearly £500 at Vectis, but that's auctions. But it takes the auctions into, into consideration as well as eBay. Some of the Facebook groups. But there you go. I mean, the Atat, 142. I paid 120 for it. It's more, but it's not more. It's not. It won't be worth me selling that. Look at that. Look at that. The pop-up lightsaber R2. I got. For, it was 251 actually, not 250, but I rounded it down, and it's now up. To 367 and that's the average price that's what the valuation is at the moment again the sensor scope one paid 10 pound for it and um, it's at 29 Boba Fett oh, we could go through a lot of these could go through all these but uh, we won't do it's just uh, that's just just to tell you um, what the 
is. So, right, you can, there's a scan tracker for card figures, box item, things like that, so you can go straight to it. But if you just want to, say you're outside, say you're out, I know it's something we're not doing at the moment, but say you're uh, um, an auction house, antique place, and you find some loose figures. Now all you do is, you can either go up to the last five years or the last week, but we'll do the last year, we'll go to the last year. You can put the dates in as well. You can have it, you can have uh, everything. I can have gr just graded, I can just ungraded. So if we'll, we'll have ungraded, all locations, all licenses, um, even the Uzai, even the bootlegs, every license there. You can just just search for one license if you want, or all license. Go all license, all locations, obviously all over the world. And um, two and B through all the all the figures, even a Dianoga there. Um, the droids, all the variations too. You know, this is all the all the variations as well. There you go. Um, three Yodas. Now, I don't think the green snake is a variant. I think it's just a discoloration of the brown. But there you go. It might, you know. Again, it's just if if you if you're a collector, you can make up a variant of anything really, couldn't you? I mean, the three different coloured look hairs. Uh, the different coloured Jedi look. I mean, look at that. Four different. Well, there's three different colours, but there's a DT Sabre look as well. I think that is the normal one. So we'll look at the DT Sabre look. No, hang on. It's got to be the other, other yellow haired one. That one. That's the DT Sabre one. So in the last year, that has sold. You see that? They've sold at seven. The lowest has been £133, which <laughs> I'd love to find. And the highest is 749 which is the one that went last week, I don't believe. Um, but you can actually pinpoint it. Yeah, there you go. L last week. So I was watching that one. But you can pinpoint them. I mean, the... the 20, uh, 23rd of the 2nd, 2020, £133, £159. So we sold in Germany. Yeah, missed out on that one, didn't I? Even, I mean, even at 229 look at that. I, mean, I would snap the hands off. But there you go, it, it gives you... I mean, like I say, you can do this over the last five years. So we'll go out of that. I'm going to power the Force Coins. Play sets. Each play set again. You can have. You can choose um, loose. So we wanted to see what how much a Death Star is worth. Um, averaging at five hundred and two pounds. Packaging selector is down the bottom. You can have it loose. We'll select none. We'll just select, select loose. And we've got. Minimum 152, average of 374, and the highest is 500 on a loose one. There's only three being sold. They haven't got mine on there. So I, I bought mine on eBay for 100 pounds, but that was a an offer, so I don't know if that actually goes through. I'm not sure. Mini rigs. Talking about that today. See, they're all included as mini rigs. Uh, we we're talking about that on Twitter today. Um, the cannons, the um, vehicle maintenance energizer. They're classed as um, 
classed, classed as mini rigs. Toe inch figures. Now I am after a Princess Leia. Uh, I'm not bothered. I would love it in a box, obviously, but packaging selector again. Uh, let's just select loose and see what we're gonna get. Minimum seven pound. Oh wow! Let's see if we can find that. That's ten pound. Seven six seven sixty six. There's one cheaper than that. That one. Have I missed it? Yeah, it's that one. Sold thirteenth of December. I wonder what, what condition that was in. So the highest for loose, £125. But there you go. It's just, it just gives you an idea, doesn't it? Mint on card. Again, it just shows you the loose figures, but obviously you're going for mint on card. Um, I don't I think that. DT Sabre. DT Sabre Veda. None. No results. That's a shame, isn't it? So again, I need. I want a carded Darth Vader. Um so let's just go to select none i would like a pallet toy <laughs> but i'm not going to get one actually says no so so no pallet toy darth vader's have been sold in the last year i think it's still on sale in a year but we'll go with kenner actually we'll go with all oh, star wars kenner ones Actually, tell you what, I'm going to select them all. Let's see what we get. So you got you got a minimum of sixty pound, which should be that one. Yeah, sixty pound. Sold in the United States, forty eight D. Return of Jedi. Which <laughs> I'd like to see the, uh, the state of that car back, but uh, it should be not to. I would love it for that price. Mexican Lily Lady, Return of the Jedi, fourteen A. So for £1,528.79p on the 23rd of the 7th. Again, a Palatoy, Palatoy Empire Strikes Back one there. So for £1,500. So again, it's, uh, it's it's ease of use of this, actually. It's so easy to use. Now, there's a desktop one for the for the iMac or the your computer. Now, I've not used that often I would like to show that as well but I'm not going to because I use the app and the app is I think is the best thing to have have it on your phone I was going to show it on the phone and record my screen but uh, it'll be like quite small so this I think is, is bigger I can zoom into this so we've got again the at at that was valued pretty low Packaging selector. We're going to let's get rid of loose and get all of them on. So you got a minimum of forty-six pound on a loose on a on a on a boxed at that. If we can get that up, forty-six pound in Night Kingdom and Patrick's back A. Not complete, obviously, of that price. But your highest is going to be there. 766 that's got to be sealed surely that's going to be sealed anyway so there's your vehicles your creatures again it's your uh, rancor your wampa your tonton max rebo bands classes creatures that's interesting very interesting there you go um diecast ships i really like the diecast ships um, I've got the TIE Fighter and the Snow Speeder. Let's see how much the Snow Speeder goes loose. So you get the you get the point, don't you? I mean, ninety nine p. I think I think I got a bargain for three pound, three four pound, or whatever it was. And uh, heist thirty four pound. So I think I got a bargain. And then micro collection, which I would absolutely love. I want the best in world. Um, I want the gantry. That's the one I want, best bin gantry. So let's see. Minimum £15. That's probably loose, obviously. But that is just 57 But there's, there's only eight being sold. So there you go. Um, but the micro collection is, is brilliant. 
It's a shame that didn't um, didn't work as uh, well as I thought it would. But it were a different line one too. I think they released it too late. Maybe, maybe if they released it at the same time as the figures came out, that had been uh, would have worked better. So there you go. That's just an overview of your tracker app. So I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you liked that video. I hope that was informative for you and it actually showed you how good the Star Wars tracker is. It's an invaluable source. And um, if you've got any questions, put in the comments, ask me. And um, I'll let you know. There is a fee for it, a yearly fee, which is $30, but I can get you $5 off that. So it's $25. TSW-25. It's an older code, but it still checks out. Um, but let me know. I'll, I'll put it that in the description. I'll put it up everywhere if anybody wants to get that. But it is. It does save you money in the long run. If you uh, if you're collecting vintage, as I say, there's all sorts on there. It's everything vintage you want to collect from micro collection, <laughs> loose figures, coins, play sets, vehicles, everything. Everything vintage Star Wars you want to collect are on there. Current prices, you can check from the last five years. Perfect. So there you go. Check that out. StarWarsTracker.com And I'll see you in the next video. May the toys be with you.